quickly before I get into this video, I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. I finally reached a thousand subscribers and counting. That is something that I'm so appreciative of and I'm so thankful to all of you subscribers out there. And I see all your comments and honestly, I'm glad that my videos are helpful to you guys. All right, let's just jump right into the video. And also, if you have any video suggestions, make sure to comment them below. All right, let's begin. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool type here. Now, this cool chrome metallic type is made in Photoshop, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial to show you how to do it. It's very simple and very easy, so stay tuned. If you're interested in that, let's just jump right into it. All right, so you want to go ahead and open up Photoshop. Um, open up and create whatever size you want. Mine's by, you know, around 2,000 by 3,000 pixels. You can choose whatever size you like. Once you got it open and ready to go, make sure you go to edit and then click on fill. And I would suggest making the fill black because it's just going to make the type and the font pop more. So we can go ahead and click on black and press OK. And then what you want to do is go ahead and click on your type tool. Now you can choose whatever type face you want, whatever font you want. I chose Old English 5 because, you know, I don't know, that Old English look looks kind of cool, kind of gothic. I think it looks pretty wicked, so I chose that. But have fun, experiment, try different typefaces and fonts. Like this is a really cool and very easy um, Chrome look to do. And it's fun to try on, you know, different kinds of types as well. So, but I'll choose Old English for now, and you can type in whatever you like. I'm going to type in Harmony because, you know, your girl is always looking for a little bit of Harmony. All right. And there we go. Now, to create that cool gold-looking effect, that's what we're going to kind of aim for. You want to make sure, so it's already chosen, to choose something that's kind of goldish. So I would go down towards the yellow and oranges and find something that's similar. I mean, if you want my exact code right here, I can paste it in if you want to use the exact same thing. But I would say play around with it. Maybe you want a darker shade of gold or a lighter shade of gold. Um, yeah, so once you have that chosen, you can go ahead and click on your type and then click right in the layers panel on double click and once you have that open you'll have your lay layer style open you can go ahead and click on bevel and emboss make sure it's selected and then there you have it i already have it in place there but i will go step by step and show you how i went about it you see the effect here in the right hand corner as well. So in the layer style in bevel and emboss, you want to make sure you choose a selection and the style that's inner bevel. There's outer bevel as well, which kind of looks cool and funky, kind of crazy looking. And then there's emboss, which I think looks cool. It reminds me of something from like some 80s rock band on some poster or CD cover. Um, there's also pillow emboss. There's stroke emboss, but I don't know. There's I feel like that looks useless. <laughs> it doesn't even show the effect. So I would go ahead and click on inner bevel. Then for the technique, I chose smooth. There's also chisel hard. And then there's chisel soft as well. And you get different effects with that. So click on chisel smooth and it has that more of a nice kind of, it gives you more of that liquidy effect, which is what we're looking for. We don't want something that looks too, too harsh. And then for the depth, I have it around 334, but you can experiment with this, try different depths and see what you like more. If you like something a little bit more sharper or if you like something that's a little bit more fluid looking, you can play around with that. So I'll keep it around 300 and 355 to be exact. And then for the direction, I have chosen to have it as down. It looks like up, like up, it looks like that, but I've chosen down either or works. And then for the size, I have it at 21 pixels. Um, you can see, like, if you play around with it, it gives you this some interesting effects when you choose different choose different sizings. Um, and that's something fun that I definitely would say go and try some different things with that or try different sizings. But for the effect that I use, I had it around 21. And then for the softness, it's at 4 pixels. If you choose 16 pixels, it's like a little too soft. 
If you go to zero, then it's a lot, a little bit more harsher. So I think three to four works the best. And then for shading, I have it at 90 and then 30. And then you can try different angles if you want. You'll get, again, different effects. But I liked it at 90 and 30, so we'll keep it at that. And then for the gloss contour, I have it at this one right here. This is the ring double right here. You can click on that. And there's different ones, as you can see. And you can try different variations, which is like a lot of fun to do. Um, but we will go with a ring effect. This one's also cool as well. But yeah, we'll go with ring double. And then for the highlight mode, I have it this color, that goldish, kind of goldish color. A little bit darker, but you can choose, you know, um, different variations. But it the gold will look different because the highlight mode is on difference right now. So you want to make sure it's at difference. If it's not at difference... Again, it, it will look different. It won't look as I have it. So you want to make sure it's on difference to really give that chrome effect. And then for the highlight, uh, for the shade mode, I have it at this pinkish one right here, pinkish color. I mean, you can have it at white, but I feel like it's more harsh. So I like it kind of at this pinkish color. It gives it a little bit more of warmth. And that's just set at normal. And that's basically it, guys. It's as simple and easy as that. You can even add other things like outer glows, which I think is really cool. Again, it's like that cool. I don't know. I think of like stranger effects. I mean, stranger things like their typeface and stuff like that. So you can play around with that if you want um, and do some cool outer glow. But, you know, if not, this works just as well. And you have this really cool chrome looking type. And for the other ones that I have here, basically all the only difference is just some of the settings are a little bit different for the top one, as you can see. And then for this one, I chose something that was a little bit more like a bit of a rose gold. It's just a different color. I chose this kind of like orangey peach color and then the pink for the bottom. And then I think the depth is a little bit different, but yeah, it's almost the same so yeah you can play around with the different colors i hope this was helpful if you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful um make sure to like this video and comment and let me know if you have any questions and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and if you have any video suggestions let me know in the comments below all right guys i'll catch you on my next video